Welcome to Princess Petals and Fairy Dust Florals. Today we are going to be doing a simple hand tied bouquet using ivory, peonies, hydrangeas, and I love these uh, foam roses from Ling's Moments. And I've been to the Ling's Moments websites many times. They have a lot to pick and choose from as far as colors. Um, these foam flowers, they're new kind of out on the market, but they're fabulous. Um, and they look pretty realistic. So I'm excited to work with them. I've already been working with them some. I've already been using some of them. I did this composite bouquet using the Ling Moments uh, foam roses. And I believe I used about six of them and took them apart to make the composite. And this composite's about, about probably three inches across um, when I did this little composite bouquet. I love finding jewelry at thrift stores or Salvation Army, Goodwill. And I found this really cool necklace. It actually was a string of them that went all the way around. And... Uh, I just clipped them apart and I'm going to insert them on the inside of all my peonies right there. I thought it would give it a little bit more definition, be kind of cool looking. So we're going to get started with that and because I don't want to throw anything away, I'm actually saving the rest of the necklace. So I think I'm going to use that on the, on the stem somehow or maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see. Designer's choice. Like and subscribe below and stay tuned. The great thing with Ling's Moments Foam Roses is when you get the box of them, their greenery is not actually attached. So I really like that because so many times I automatically snip off the greenery. And so this is great. So it's already got the greenery snipped off. Then if I want to use the greenery, I just insert it. And to me, that's kind of wide, so I usually clip off one or two. Or I'll clip off, you know, three of them and leave just two. So it just depends on how I want to use it. Plus, um, these foam flowers are great. I've already gone through and I just hot glue pan them on right here on the back side, just two little um, stems of the green ring. And I think that looks fabulous. I also wanted to show you this. When I was making that composite bouquet, you know, I clipped off the outer edges to make the extra petals to go around on that composite, but I saved the buds because I don't want to throw anything away. You want to use all parts of it. This would be a perfect size for a boutonniere, and I just need to add some greenery. So to add the greenery, I'm gonna glue pans. You either got your grant your glue turned up too high and it's smoking or it's not high enough and you're when you're ready to use it your glue's not melted enough. Waiting on the glue. I am going to glue a couple of little pieces of greenery back here. So I've got all these little buds I definitely don't want to throw away. I can use them for sure. This would make a great boutonniere. You can put one greenery on it or two, however many you want to put on there. So when you're doing your hand tied bouquet, you're going to do everything kind of at a 45 degree angle in your hand and twist it. 45 degree angle, twist the bouquet. I'm going to start with a peonies. Then I'm going to put a stem of hydrangea in at a 45 degree angle. And I like to start down low on the stems because that way there's more uh, room to maneuver. Because if you start up here, choked up all the way up on the stems, it's harder to maneuver your, your um, bouquet. Then I'm gonna start adding in a couple of roses. And again, at a 45. And at this point, I'm going to take it and turn it. I'm going to add in another peonies at a 45. Two more roses. 
noses at a 45. Then I want to just kind of twist it. If you can see, I've got two roses here, two roses here. I'm going to do a 45 right here and put two more roses. And then I think I'm going to put another peonies right here at a 45. And then you just want to keep going in and adding flowers in. I'm doing another hydrangea twist. So here I'm going to add another hydrangea twist. So if you can see, I've got three blooms of peonies, three, so I can go in and add more. Let's put this one at a 45. This one at a 45. And now, because I've got these roses in here, I can always go back in and sneak them right down in there. That's the kind of fun part with silk flowers. You can still maneuver them around. It's really taking its shape and form there. And then I'll, I'm just gonna take these and glue them in once I get the stems taped up. And for taping the stems, it's just like taping uh, fresh flower stems. You just use your floral tape and just keep going around. Pulling it taunt as you go around. So down here at the bottom, you've got some extra stems that are longer. I always like to go and just snip them off so that everything's all the, pretty much the same length. I'm still going to be covering all of that up. The only thing with working with silk flowers is for your stems, um, they're just not as pretty as fresh flower stems. So I always cover up my stems um, with ribbon just because uh, they're just not as pretty. I like to cover this part up on my stems because it's very spindly looking. Uh, you should never be able to see through your stems like that. So what I do is I take a, I always save all my leaves. I am dipping a little glue from the glue pan. Again, it's not up high enough. And then I am gonna just place that right there and I'm gonna form a barrier all the way around. And now if you see, I'm doing the underside, but I'm gonna go back around and do one on the outer side, the dark green. What this also does is causes the stems to just really lock them in place with the glue. So they're just not really gonna be moving anywhere. Even though I've got them taped, up here, if I hadn't done something to secure them, they would have shifted and moved around some leaf glue barrier there for them. And now I've got that, and that's the underside of the leaf. And then I go back and I reverse the leaf so I've got the pretty dark green on the outside also. So it's gonna look like this on the underside. And then what I do here is I'll be covering all of from here down with ribbon. And now I'm just going back under and relayering it because I want to cover up all my mechanics up underneath, underneath and just make it have a very clean finish underneath, even though nobody is really going to see this underneath here, but it's the mechanics of it that make it look more like a professional 
a silk bouquet. You want to make sure you cover up your mechanics. And yes, I've got lots of glue strings, but I will, you know, pull those off as soon as I'm finished. And I need to put one more leaf right there. But I'm going to finish gluing these leaves down. That's what brides want, is that they want something that's well constructed, that doesn't look cheap. And then that's going to look like that underneath. If you can see, it's very, um, just a really nice finish. Actually, I think I want to put one more leaf right there. That's looking a little, yeah. And if you can see, this is uh, just the stems that I use for gluing. Anybody in the floral industry, is, they're laughing at me because they do the exact same thing. Um, I mean, we use fresh flower stems, uh, wooden flower picks, I mean, you name it, we have used it. And uh, we are not ashamed to say we have used it because it's about getting the mechanics and everything covered. And how we get the mechanics completely done is how we get it done. There, that's looking a whole lot nicer up underneath there. So I have a little bit of places I just wanna add, you know, some specks of glue to. So keep watching. So underneath there, I got my refined finish, as you can see, all the way around. I do have glue strings all through there, so I am gonna go back. But now I am gonna actually um, from here down, cover that with ribbon. And so for that, I just have this little piece of double edge satin. It's not a big piece, so I don't really don't need a big piece for this. A little bit of glue on the bottom, and then I'm just gonna place it right there. And then I'm just gonna keep putting glue all the way around as I go. Now I've got the ends of the ribbon covered, but I'm still not done because you can see that. And I am always a stickler for all my mechanics being covered. I'm gonna put a little glue there. Glue on each side. And now I am going to go and rewrap all that. And may that, that may be a little excessive for some but this is just my technique. And I know some will just wrap the bottom of it and then wrap the greenery, but um, this is just the way I like it to look very refined and finished. And once again, I like to take the ribbon, fold it over, glue it. So instead of having this cut edge right there, I have a nice folded edge. And fortunately, again, I'm not walking on water today. And so my edge is a little pointed, but um, it's not that rough raw cut there. It's still a nice fold. And then I'm gonna pull it over and glue it and secure it there. Got that. I could still go in and do the French knotting on it. Um, I had thought about putting these pearls on it, but I'm not really liking that. So um, for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. I am going to go in and add uh, the little jewels in on into the heart or centers of the peel. Everyone is taking just a chunk of glue, and you want to put just a big old chunk of glue right on the bottom side and then I'm just gonna place it right there in the center and let gravity do its work and then I'm gonna go around to all the center of the peonies and do that for each one Uh, when I'm doing a bouquet, I really like to pick a front that is going to be specifically for photographs and then a back that the bride is going to see. So the front, 
I think it's going to definitely have uh, a couple of these little jewels that the uh, photographer can see when they're photographing it and the bride's holding it there just like this and then the bride can see some in the back. Uh, I mentioned that because when I'm tying it off I like to have my knots down the front and then my knots down specifically in the back so I really like to have um, a specific front and back and I have decided to go ahead and um, do the French knotting on that. So I put a little bit of glue on the back of my ribbon. I am going to just place that at the base of where my greenery is and then I'm gonna get started uh, just doing the French knotting. And with that, I know we've already gone through that, but I'm gonna also speed it up so y'all can see. You start by tying just a plain knot at the base. And you can do it either way. You can start down here and go up and then have like a little uh, bow at the top or you can tie it off and tuck your uh, ends down into the ribbon. I always like to start at the top and go down. So it's just designer's choice. Earlier, if you saw some of the earlier videos, I like to take these little uh, rhinestones and put them in between the knotting or on the knotting. I think on this one, I am gonna put it on the actual knotting. I get these little jewels from uh, Hobby Lobby. I pick them up at the Dollar Tree, Walmart, different places that I see things. This was $6.99, and when I'm pricing it out on my bouquets, I actually raised the price a little bit, so I think I did like $7.50 and charged to put the rhinestones on the um, first bouquet that I did. And so, again, I've only used half of it, so I'm using the other half on this one, charging $7.50 and putting it on here. And so that way, not only am I making money, but I've more than paid for this little piece of jewelry that I paid full price for. And now I've got my little bedazzled jewels on there, sparkly, get my glue strings off. Now I'm gonna hit it with the, of course, Design Master Sparkle Spray, even though I've got all my little jewels in there. Makes it extra special. There. I don't know if you can see all the little, it's a really fine sparkle dusting that it puts on the flowers. Not sure if you can see it. I'll see if I can't pick it up in a photograph when I put that on here. So, and there we have our silk hand tied bouquet using the Ling's Moments flowers, foam flowers. I really like working with those. Um, get all your glue strings out and it is a fabulous bouquet. And for anybody that's wondering, what happened to our hair? It was braided. Uh, yeah, I started this video yesterday. And um, yeah, here we are. New hairdo for the day. So here we go. And that is our hand-tied bouquet. Silk bouquet. I'm having a string of bras as for silk bouquets now. And that's just how it rolls. I will get brides that I will have months and months of fresh, nothing silk, and then I'll have a string of brides that want to have um, silk bouquets. So there's no rhyme or reason. I love working with both. And like and subscribe below. And until next time, sparkle on!